sir. I'm reviewing the general orders to be published tomorrow. I seem to recall requesting you write a report on the execution of Colonel Bradford and Sergeant Hickey. Yes, sir. You should have it, sir. It's, uh, it's right here in front of you. Yeah. You were to detail their final words, their confession to counterfeiting. Instead, you make them sound like villains, an unrepentant one. Which is the truth. Yes, I'm puzzled with him. Men seldom revel in their evil on the gallows. Well, I don't see them as men. You don't? No, sir. What do you see them as? Scum. Traitors. Tories. My mother could be considered a Tory. Sir, you know that I That's mean... That's not the point. The point is discretion, as you yourself have stressed. But don't you see, in the interest of discretion, we're protecting the reputation of snakes. And what do you think the Tories will call your friend Woodhull if they catch him? The same thing that they called my friend Nathan Hale, an enemy spy. Hmm. The low smoke. And even a man. Your thoughts were with Hale when you saw those men hanged. Yes, sir. When you see any man hanged? Yes, sir. And how many executions have you witnessed? Fourteen, sir. But Hale is not like Hickey. For his cause was just. Do you remember his final words? Of course. They were inspired by Cato, which we performed together at Yale. I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. No, very good. Except he never said it. We did. When I received the news from Captain Montresor, General Howe's aide de camp, it described Hale behaving with great composure and resolution. Before hanging, he said he thought it the duty of every good officer to obey any order given him by his commander-in-chief. He wished to be seen as a soldier, not a spy. He wasn't selflessly thinking of his country, but rather his own reputation, how his death would be received by his family upon learning their son was a spy. Yes, we altered what he said, and thus converted a failed mission into an act of martyrdom. I imagine Captain Hale would approve. And so you think the, the Tories will turn these assassins into martyrs as well? Not if we brand them as forgers first. Though it must be convincing. Our conflict with His Majesty erupted into full war over a single page of words. On paper. The great contest we now find ourselves in is over whose word will be the final one. I understand, sir. But with respect, I'm afraid I cannot be the one to write it. <laughs> 